The greatest sports stories are all about overcoming the odds. And no one did it better than iconic football coach Vince Lombardi. We're only here because we want to win. And when we lose, we're gone. Therefore, we have to win. Lombardi on Broadway had its work cut out for it when it opened. It's safe to say that Vince Lombardi himself would have chosen Sunday night football over a Sunday night at the theater any day. I thought if we could get people in in previews, I thought we would survive. So, and we did. The people, the word of mouth on the street was good. And the audiences are fabulous. I mean, there are people that are coming to plays that come up to us and they say, this is my first Broadway show. And they're coming because they're going to find out about Vince Lombardi. And then they get in here yes. and they find out all of this other stuff. And they leave and they say, I'm telling everybody. Broadway buffs had to be convinced as well. A play about sports is not what they're used to. This is an audience that is welcoming us in a way that we hoped they would. And now they have. So that's a thrill. It's not a bunch of guys talking football. It's how this obsession for perfection uh, well, they got five rings. That's the upside. But it did take a toll on the family. Jim, when I got here six years ago, you about had it with pro football. I shook your hand. I felt like a limp fish. You barely spoke to reporters. You, you hardly spoke to anyone. Oh, no. Now, now I shake your hand. You just about put me down on my knees. Give me confidence, coach. We worked on that together. Jim. A lot of people think it's just about football or it's just about Vince Lombardi. And... What you find out is that it's a lot deeper in terms of Lombardi himself personally, what you find out about him, but you also find out about his wife and his family and, and how he worked with each one of his players differently. He, he worked psychologically with each one of them in a different way. That's pretty fascinating. God, family, and the Green Bay Packers are the three most important things in his life, but not necessarily in that order. <laughs> she made something that she didn't want to do, work for herself and work for the man that she loved. And so the two of them really became the king and queen of Green Bay. She could have been a victim, she could have felt sorry for herself, she could have been angry all the time. And the truth was, she didn't operate like that. She married a man that she loved and adored, and he had a vision, and she wanted to support that vision. Like Coach Lombardi himself, the play is an underdog. It's one of the few shows that opened in the fall to be extended into 2011. To see a new play, a drama, not a flashy musical, not something that's a rock concert passed off as a play, but a good old-fashioned play with people, characters that the people in the audience can identify with, to be so successful, that's, that's really rewarding. I have not had one moment where I have come to the theater and thought, oh, I don't want to do this tonight. Not one. And that's very unusual because usually when you have a long run, you go, uh, you know, tonight I sort of don't feel like it, but I've not had that. We just passed our 100th show, so no one's missed a show. It's been a lot of fun. Good team. Lombardi's success paves the way for future sports-related Broadway shows. For CBSNews.com, I'm Felipe Maya. Because this may be the one play in the whole ballgame that could cause the winning or the losing of the entire season.